For many years, I have been an avid fan of the Alien franchise. It has captivated audiences for many generations and continues to get mainstream attention. Now, with the release of Alien Covenant, I went online to talk with other Alien fans to see what they thought of the movie, and I was surprised to see that Alien had a very divided fanbase. As I rewatched the old movies, it occurred to me just why this is. Let's talk about the first two films, both iconic and memorable to the science fiction genre, with very different cinematic styles. Alien plays on classic haunted house tropes and utilizes its setting to make the viewer feel uneasy as they know one singular threat is lurking, with themes such as rape and isolation to encase the fearful atmosphere for the whole runtime. You never knew what the creature was, and all of the unanswered questions stay with us, and it gives it a sense of wonder. Aliens had a completely different style, as the second time around, you knew what the threat was going to be. But instead of repeating scenes that were already done in the first movie, the xenomorphs had been introduced to the humans off-screen so that the characters we were focusing on could have an entirely original reaction, as opposed to the way that the Nostromo crew acted in the first film. The action scenes are paced much faster and with less build-up, as more people are going to die this time around. Since the cast was bigger, the characters could afford less build-up if it served purpose to the movie. Marines going in, guns blazing, was diametrically opposite to the ragtag group of space truckers seen in the first film. During the 1980s, American action movies were at an all-time high, and Aliens shared more similarities to Commando than it did with its actual predecessor. Because it was so different, it felt like it was its own movie and had established its place in the series without it being like Jaws 2. The other sequels tried to be like the first two films without effectively being distinct, as directors kept trying to balance the two to find a perfect medium, which ended up creating colossal pieces of shit. I by no means detest Alien 3 or Resurrection, however I do feel that they're worthy of criticism. The reception affected these movies as well, as half of the fanbase would be unsatisfied if the movie was more like Alien or Aliens than the other. If another sequel dared to be completely different, like Prometheus did, it would create a new portion of the fanbase to defend it, if not a fraction of the two other sides. Fox's attempts to satisfy everyone only makes the series seem irrelevant in the face of more successful science fiction universes. Because of the R rating, the Alien movies are grossing less money right off the bat than their PG-13 counterparts, making the gap of people who will finance the movies even smaller. What ultimately made Alien and Aliens great wasn't the aliens themselves, it was the concept of people encountering something unknown in the unique scope of the movie settings and characters. If the entire presentation isn't carefully executed, then the resulting outcome would seem mediocre. No franchise can satisfy all of their viewers, but in the case of Alien, its two milestone movies could never fit into one another, thus the fans themselves hold the future of the franchise back. If each film was vastly different from the other, but shared some of the same universe, I could see the fans anticipating sequels without the dreaded expectations of living up to former standards. As moviegoers, we can only take what we could get, but if fans choose to close themselves off from a movie just because it wasn't like the aspect that they initially found interesting, they're gonna bury this beloved franchise. We want to see more of this universe, but we don't want to keep going back to the derelict. We want to see the world that could exist in a universe where there could be life on other planets. But we want to see new aliens. Aliens have a different role in the universe than what we've already seen. The lore in the series is vast enough to create character situations that could present promising encounters and story arcs. The only problem is that directors and fans alike choose to tread the same grounds based on the past when they are not trying to seek new appeal. Alien Covenant was much like Alien 3 in the respect that it failed to deliver on the fans' high expectations, but how could it have been better if Fox budgeted based on the reception of the previous movie? How could you expect the next sequel with a smaller budget to be better if the people who pay money to go see it don't agree on anything? If Fox wants to make another good Alien movie, it must distance itself from the originals and go in its own direction, as it always should have been. A nod here and there won't hurt, but the redundant plot of humans running from aliens sets the franchise back each time. And don't worry about EVP. I'll get to that.